Are you curious to learn more about these weight loss injections everyone's talking about? Maybe you've heard people use this new phrase, food noise. What does that mean? One of the biggest pieces of advice people are told when they're struggling with obesity or overweight is to simply listen to your body, eat when your body's hungry, and stop when your body's not. But what if for some people, the issue was their body wasn't talking back? Well, that's exactly what they've learned is happening in many people who struggle with obesity. When you eat, your gut produces hormones called incretin hormones. And the most prominent incretin hormone is called GLP-1. Perhaps you've heard of the new drug called Ozempic. Ozempic is a GLP-1 analog. When you take in nutrients, GLP-1 is secreted in your body along with other incretin hormones that send signals to your brain telling your body that you're full. It's also responsible for stimulating your pancreas to make more insulin in response to that nutrient intake. And it slows down the rate at which you digest a meal, all leading to longer feelings of satiation. But as I mentioned before, what if the issue for some of these people is that their body has simply stopped talking back? In a recent study of type 2 diabetics, what was found is that there are an exorbitant amount of specific kinds of gut bacteria. The byproduct of this gut bacteria is a chemical called DPP-4. DPP-4 is responsible for breaking down GLP-1. Remember what we talked about GLP-1 doing? With the hormonal dysregulation going on in the guts of people who suffer from obesity and especially type 2 diabetes as seen in this study, DPP-4 is running amok killing the signals that effectively tell your brain that you are full. Well, there's a new class of medications called incretin mimetics, and among the most popular incretin mimetics is Ozempic. These incretin mimetics solve the problem of the breakdown and destruction of GLP-1 in the gut by providing a long-acting analog of GLP-1 hormones. Or in the case of the newer generations like Zepbound and Manjaro, they act on multiple incretin hormone receptors, not only GLP-1, but also GIP, which is also responsible for some of the same things that GLP-1 is.